Welcome to the Bentley Systems training course where you will learn how to design steel structures in STAD Pro for both strength and serviceability requirements. As a reminder, please take a look at the command structure that we used to instruct STAD Pro to perform both a serviceability and a strength design check for this particular model. Now at this point in our workflow, we're ready to perform our analysis and design. To start that process, let's go ahead and click on the Run Analysis icon, which is available in the Analysis and Design tab of the Ribbon Toolbar. At this point in the workflow, we're going to take a look in our STAD analysis and design dialog and see if there are any errors or warnings. For this particular model, I don't have any errors or warnings, so I'm ready to review my results. Let's start in the output file. Now in STAD Pro, we'll be able to see the output of each of our parameter folders. Again, parameter one represents our strength design checks. Parameter two represents our serviceability checks. So let's go ahead and skip ahead to our parameter one folder. And we'll be able to see the strength checks for each of the members that were assigned this particular code check command. Here we can see the member number. We'll be able to see the status reported as either pass or fail, and we'll be able to see the interaction ratio. This is again specifically for the strength design checks for each member. If you wanted to look for any failed members, we will be able to see that not all members pass the code check, and you can use the find icon to search for the word fail if you want to quickly jump to those locations. Let's go ahead and scroll down to the parameter two folder. These are our serviceability checks. Now we did not perform a serviceability check on every single member in the model. We specifically focused on that top platform level. So here we'll be able to see the status of the serviceability. It's going ahead and letting us know that this is a deflection check of the member. It knows it's a deflection check because of that DFF parameter that is included within this folder. And we'll be able to see the pass or fail. We'll also be able to see the ratio. This is your actual deflection over your allowable deflection. So we'll be able to go ahead and see and some of the members passed and some of the members failed. So let's go ahead and exit out of our output file. Now for this particular model, what I'm most interested in is flagging any members that have failed either a strength design or a serviceability check. And I'll be able to see the controlling interaction ratios in the post processor. So in the workflow page control panel, I'm gonna select post processing and in the layout icon, I'm gonna select utilization. This is what's going to tell me the results of the different code checks that I performed. So let's go ahead and look in the main window. What we're gonna notice is that interaction ratios have been indicated and the model is color coded. This color coding and interaction ratios is according to the parameter that's currently selected in the ribbon toolbar. So if I went to the design parameters area, I can see that we're currently showing design parameter number one. That is our strength design check. We can also display parameter two so you can isolate which members are failing your deflection checks. Or we can also ask the program to display the maximum. This will be your controlling interaction ratio. Now for this particular model, I'm gonna be focusing on the maximum. 
and I'm going to see that my model has been color coded. Anything in green means that this passed any design checks that were performed on that particular member. It has an interaction ratio less than 1.0. Anything in blue means that this member failed one of the design checks and its interaction ratio is between 1.0 and 1.5. Anything in red indicates an extreme failure with an interaction ratio greater than 1.5. In addition to that, you can take a look at your multiple design results table over in the data area. Here we'll be able to see every single design check that was performed for each member. Anything with parameter one means that that is a, the results for your strength design check. Anything with parameter number two would be your serviceability checks. Now for my particular workflow, I'm mostly interested in the maximum results. Now here in this table, what the program will do is it'll indicate the controlling parameter. So which one had the higher interaction ratio? Now it might have failed both checks, but this will give you the highest interaction ratio. If you select any member in the model, you'll be able to see pass or fail and why it failed. So here you can see this particular member had a failure according to the strength design. In addition to that, if you wanted to focus in on just your failed members, you can go ahead and select those in the multiple design results table. Here we can see all the members that have failed. And again, anything in blue or red would need some additional attention. Now to finish up your workflow, you're gonna to want to go ahead and adjust your model accordingly. So when you're doing a code check, we're basically asking the program it, to check whether the provided section properties of the members are adequate. For this particular model from several members in the upper platform area, we're experiencing failures for either strength, serviceability, or both. To complete this workflow, we're going to want to make some adjustments on our model to get to a passing situation. That might be changing your model configuration, adjusting your section properties, or adjusting your loads, for example. Now for this particular model, we're gonna assume that that's the next phase that we're going to be working on. But at this point, this completes your full workflow for asking the program to perform both a strength and serviceability check in STAD Pro according to the AISC 360-16 specification. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.